Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video, you will learn how to use Webpack 2 and Purify CSS plugin that will let you minify your outputted CSS file to the bare minimum. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to check out all the other Webpack 2 tutorials. In the previous video, we learned how to include Twitter Bootstrap inside of our Webpack 2 project. And today we will have a look how we can minify and only include the necessary styles based on our HTML. Okay, so we don't want to load the whole library. We only want to use the files that are related to our HTML markup. And for that, we will use handy Purify Webpack plugin. Okay, but before we do that, let's have a look what we've got inside of our VS Code. Inside of the source folder, we have index.html. And this is our template that includes some default Twitter markup container row called medium4. If you're familiar with Bootstrap, you know what these columns mean. Here we have a button that triggers showing of our modal dialog box okay so this is all our html and when we run the production mode we will have a generated bootstrap css that includes all the css for the whole library okay we only want to include everything what is related to our page so we don't want to load any unnecessary styles so we can do it in two ways the Hard way, the more clunky way is to go to the bootstrap RC file. I'll change the color coding to YAML so it's much easier to read. And we can manually turn things on and off. We can turn off things by saying it to setting it to false, but this is quite clunky. We need to manually set it one by one. So let's keep everything to true and instead we will install the Webpack Purify, Purify CSS Webpack plugin. So let's copy that. And inside of the terminal, install this package. While, while that is loading, let's go back to the documentation and see how we can install it. So we've got it installed and the usage is we need to define a couple constants at the top of our config. We already have the path. We already have the extract text plugin. So let's define the glob, require the glob module inside of Webpack config at the top of the page, install or include the glob. As you can see, this one is using constant and the Webpack 2 is rewritten to support constants and let so instead of var, we can define all the other vars as constants. This will make everything nice and consistent. And the other constant we need to include, we need to require the purify CSS webpack. Okay, so let's copy that below the glob. And the last thing we'll need to do is to include the purify CSS plugin inside of our plugins array. So let's copy this and paste it at the bottom of our config, just under the named modules plugin, include comma, paste it in, fix the indentation. And inside of the purify CSS plugin object, we need to define path to our HTML file. The HTML template we're using sits inside of SRC folder index.html, so we need to point to that src slash and the star means any HTML file inside of this, temp, uh, inside of the src folder will be scanned and only the CSS related to HTML elements inside of this file will be included in the final extracted style sheet. Okay, so to see how it works in action, I save the webpack config.js and run the npm run prod. But just to remember, 
this file used to include everything and was originally 112 kilobytes. Okay, now if I run the npm run prod, we should see this file being minified and only include the styles necessary for our page. Let's wait for it to be generated. Again, we've got the style, but as you can see, now it's much smaller and we only include the styles necessary for our page. So if we compare the file size, Bootstrap CSS is now only eight kilobytes instead of 112. So we drastically minify this file and we only include the necessary styles. The great thing about this is if we go to Twitter Bootstrap and include some of the extra HTML. So let's go to components, include few extra things like a drop down. We paste it into our template just below the button. Don't worry about the formatting. This is just to show you how we will now include the styles necessary for this markup as well. So if we search for drop down inside of the bootstrap CSS, we won't see anything because we didn't have this drop down in there when we run the last build. Okay, now if I save the HTML and run the production mode again, we should see inside of the bootstrap CSS styles necessary for the drop down again. So I'm copying the drop down class. And once we've done building it, open the bootstrap CSS and search for drop down. And as you can see, there are extra classes included in the style sheet. Okay, the size of that file should jump a little bit up, but not too much. So we've got extra three kilobytes for our drop down styles. Okay, so this is perfect way how to keep your CSS minified or minimal at all times and only include the styles necessary for your HTML markup. Okay, so remember this is using the Purify CSS plugin and you can use it with your JavaScript files as well. So any markup generated with your JavaScript and React, all the files will be scanned and only the elements that are included in the HTML markup will be used in the final CSS files. And that's it all for today. Now you know how to use the Purify CSS plugin and hopefully you will find it useful for your own projects. And let me know in the comments if you have any other Webpack 2 tutorials, suggestions or questions related to Webpack 2 configuration. I would love to hear from you in the comments. Until next time, happy coding. Bye.